This here is the East Troy Dam. It has been a part of East Troy since the 1840s when it was first constructed. It was used by the old company Trent Tube for manufacturing reasons. For many years it has provided the community with fishing, boating, canoeing, and picnicking. But then, over time, the village neglected it. The East Troy Lake Association was created to preserve and protect the East Troy Lake and Dam. They are now actively trying to convince the village board to save the lake for the future generations. There are many reasons why the lake needs to be saved, one being seasonal beauty. The lake provides a scenic view year-round from its beautiful winter ice to its stunning fall sunsets. The lake also has been a community resource. They use it as a large water source for the East Troy area fire departments. It also is where the storm sewers outflow. As it said in the beginning, the lake has provided the community a lot of different activities that anyone can do, like fishing and boating. It isn't like it's the far away either, because a lot of village children can bike or even walk to the lake to go fishing. East Troy Lake is literally only two blocks away from the village square. Going outside of the dam a bit, we have here the Mill Pond Park and all the area between the lake and pond. If the dam was kept and the mill pond stays how it is, all this area could be utilized so well as an area for a park. There are already a few walking trails out here that people can actually use, as you can see by the mass amounts of footprints you see here. The trails have been well maintained by agriculture students here at the local high school. There is also the shoreline walkway with picnic tables if people want to have a picnic out in nature. It is then obviously used for a very nice fishing spot. The East Troy Lake is also home to a lot of wildlife, including turtles, frogs, geese, ducks, blue heron, and sandhill cranes. That same agricultural class also made wood duck nests for the wildlife out there to have a home. Getting rid of the dam would cause all of the wildlife to lose their homes on the lake. The East Troy Lake Association even has plans to make more things on the lake, like a boardwalk in the wetlands, like how they have it in Waukesha. Waukesha is a boardwalk on Sunset Avenue, and the East Troy Lake Association wants to build one just like it. Another plan they have is to also build a wildlife observation deck to oversee some of the cool and interesting wildlife that the lake has. In our final statement, we would like to say that we feel getting rid of the East Troy Dam and Lake will be a bad idea, and we should attempt to save it instead. There are so many uses that it already has, and there are plans to make it even better for the community. The potential that the village has to use this land for a park is just so spectacular that it shouldn't be passed up. There are towns and cities that have man-made water sources because they want to have parks and nature in their city. We are lucky here in East Troy because we don't don't need to have a man-made source, but if we don't fix the problem at hand with the dam, East Troy might not have a lake in the future at all. That is why we want it fixed so our future generations can still have a park to love and enjoy.